G'day everyone, welcome to my channel, Marty Groves. This channel mostly features farming simulator gameplay. The episode's about to kick off. I hope you enjoy the show. Please hit the like and subscribe button and feel free to leave a comment. Let's get on with the show. G'day everyone, welcome back to my copy challenge. It is June and I'm just up on top of my tower by the lake. Had to use the tractor to climb up because I couldn't get up the steps. But it's a pretty cool view anyway. No fields to harvest this month so we're going to do some tree work. And watch as the cool neighbour's delivery truck goes by. So we're going to clear out some trees um, just near the field up here. And also over by our original sawmill. I'll try and at least take out the small trees this month. And maybe start clearing some of the bigger ones. We have a couple of fields to take care of as well, but for now I'm going to go straight across and try and cut down all these trees. I think the tractor's over in the shed there, so we'll get going. Silly me, because the cows aren't eating, they've only got grass. Uh, I'm going to go crazy on my grass field just over past the horses there uh, and get some tedding and windrowing done. I think I'll just go with hay off the small field to give them a bit of feed but I'll also have a look at where I can maybe do a few runs of grass to get some silage bales. Might just jump into the store really quickly and get a tether and windrower. Okay, so I might make this one go down to the store, I think, and <laughs> actually get them picked up so I can make use of them. So let's get this road on the show. Here you can go down to store repair, that should be good enough. While he heads down there, I'm going to jump in by the tractor and get these trees done. There's a Fair bit to them, so I'll probably just do it as a quick time lapse. Okay, let's get this wood done.
show where the truck's going. See if we can get it back in the trigger and get all this wood sold. So, twenty-one and a half, about twenty-four thousand dollars for all that wood. I did sell about four thousand dollars of it initially too so it's what 28 from clearing that little section of trees and we got a nice windrower and tether here too that we've got to send over to the field I think we'll only do hay this time around and I'll worry about silage when I can get more grass done I'll get the John Deere heading over there again in a minute. But first, I'll see if I can hook all these up. I figure with this big windrower, it shouldn't take too long to bail everything up. Although I might end up bringing a forage wagon over as well. Assuming I can get it hooked up. That'll do. Slip over here and send the John Deere over to that other field too to do the trees. Once I get this guy on the way, I might need to find another tractor and get the herbicide spray going too. Okay. Uh, now we have some more pallets already. Can't remember if I used a tractor or this dude. Ah, oh, I put up a nice shed. No poor shifty was getting wet at night. Not too much else I really want to do this month, although I forgot all about getting my field sprayed with some herbicide. So I should probably look at doing that soon. Donuts, because well, there's heaps of them. I think that front one could have been stacked a little bit better. controls ain't great for extending the boom. Not minding this little guy, he's done alright so far. Uh, 
sorry if my voice is coming through really croaky and sore throat and everything over the last week or so and I'm probably still not recovered but I wanted to get an episode out so I'll suck it up if you can bear with it we'll get him down to the store and get these sold it's a little bit overloaded only 23 pallets but having trouble stopping coming down the hill saved it all right I've set the planks back to storing for another year and uh, donuts are at six and a half thousand which is almost their rock bottom price but I'm going to get rid of them now anyway I need that unstrapped. Of course there's one that I threw off the edge that doesn't want to play fair. Hopefully if I knock it off it will right itself. There we go. So one pallet of donuts is six and a half, seventy-two hundred. Uh, early next month, we'll probably get another one of those nice big flash combines. I think. Now this one can head back to the donut production, ready to get loaded up some more. And for some reason, the John Deere didn't quite go where I intended, so I'll jump into it and get it headed off to the correct spot too. Actually, while it's here, how about I hook up to the sprayer and get these weeds sprayed, because the day is really ticking away from doing all that logging work. don't think I'll be dragging any more logs around this episode so I'll we'll drop the logging winch off just here so I totally forget where it is although hopefully I'll put the sprayer back here only month two so there should be no crop destruction uh, so plot 24 field two I reckon we can just go around it that should be good enough I think the other one we did was plot 15 field one that I need to go over and take care of too. So how about we knock both of them off in one go. I'll see you once they're both finished.
Okay, looks like both fields are done. I almost forgot to do them. I'll get this folded up and put away quick. <laughs> Still got to come and pick up the trees that I cut down to get my harvester and head her through. Might put an actual path through there, I think. Been considering joining up these two fields here. We'll, we'll see how we go. I might, I might not. It would make a bigger field, but it's a bit annoying because there is a chook pen in the way. And a fair bit of traffic does come through here. Uh, we'll see how we go. Just get this park. I'm going to pick up another one of those harvesters. Wow. Especially now that my money is looking good. It's going to be a while until <laughs> we have another big influx of money though. Because that's all the planks sold. That's all the oil sold over the last two episodes. Uh, all the donuts and all the sheep milk sold. So it's pretty much nothing left to sell. It has helped a lot though so I shouldn't complain. Oh yes, the mysterious buildings up the back there. I need to go and explore a bit better now as well. Just get this parked up here and move the truck out of the way of the road. I was hoping to be able to cut some of these trees down but probably out of time this episode. I think it's gone really quick with all the well, blogging work. I suppose I could use the John Deere to drag those trees away that are way down there. Uh, that will be probably next month and probably a little bit in the background because We have five fields to harvest next month. That's sorghum, that's sunflower. Uh, not sure what these are. Uh, okay, so we got two canola, and it looks like either an oat or a sorghum. Yeah, two sorghum, two canola and one sunflower to harvest. So when I buy the harvester, which I probably should just do now, <laughs> um, why don't I do that? Let's spend some money. So I've already got one of these. Before I buy the machine itself, I'm gonna get this one with the corn header. Can't change your colours, so that makes it nice and easy. So, spreader, exhaust, number, call this one two. Uh, oh, Canada, Brazil, yeah, we're going with Australia. What else could I possibly do? I do have enough, yes, <laughs> I have enough money. I will probably pick that guy up next month, but there's another $470,000. I was going to sell my old harvesters, but might just hang on to them. They're only worth about 50 grand in total. If we need a cash injection, I can always go nuts and sell them then. But they'll come in handy for doing some of the small fields. Especially now that we're really starting to get some fairly large fields, fields uh, created. Alright, right at the end of last episode I put the ice creamery and the dessert factory in. The ice creamery, surprise surprise, does ice cream. Okay. 
So we have a choice of chocolate or strawberry. I need to bring some honey up. I put in a small strawberry bed just with a manure attachment to keep the strawberries rolling in for that. And I put a dairy in but we don't have any milk just yet. So we need milk and chocolate and only milk for the strawberry so it's not too bad uh, I can run the honey up the sugar I'll have to work out what's going on hopefully my priority didn't mess that up because I put that as a 8 as opposed to the donuts The animal dairy also doesn't have sugar, so we might need to increase our um, sugar beet production substantially. Don't need cheese, but I need chocolate, and that's where the sugar comes into it. And then our dessert factory, which is the building right beside this one, has taken all the sugar. Wow, even though it's a priority five. Okay, that makes sense. It looks like it's used up its strawberries because we do have some strawberry sorbet uh, being stored. Uh, water, sugar and strawberries seemed a pretty easy one to make. Caramel needs milk. Chocolate needs eggs, which is bad. Well, and chocolate. Chocolate brownie looks pretty cool, but I don't really have the chocolate or the butter for it. Chocolate butter and eggs is even worse. So I'm assuming as you work down, they're worth more. I haven't really looked at the price. So, strawberry sorbet. $800 at present. I might sell the stuff I have. Uh, Eight to nine hundred. Strawberry jams, 14 Okay, it looks like chocolate brownies is currently where it's at, at 3800 Chocolate fondue at 5 grand. Chocolate mousse is... Okay, chocolate mousse is the winner. Chocolate mousse only needs eggs and chocolate. So I might leave going to deactivate that one and I'll try and get some eggs and chocolate together to make the chocolate mousse because wow it seems to do really well maybe the strawberry jam actually it uses well wow. let's get the strawberry jam activated because that just uses strawberries and sugar so that should get rid of some of the sugar that's accumulated here change this one to sell and a strawberry jam can stay at storing and we'll see how that goes I do have a couple of generators though to help with their production costs and that's the dessert factory first time I've used it so it should be interesting and couple more generators just to help with its cost over here got a nice big grass field that'll be ready in two more months to harvest so I threw in another little shed just for our milk and slurry truck that I definitely will clean before doing milk and or slurry duties we just got a little old dairy here set up uh, I don't have any milk yet, which is a bit of a problem. So we need to get some milk and some sugar. So we might put a crimp in our plans by messing up with the sugar auto-distributing. Once I get that done, we'll get some butter and chocolate being made. So that I can put across to the dessert factory if it's needed. And the ice cream. How about we change this to storing to stop wasting product although it's currently out of sugar beet so it's a bit of a problem 
Uh, the cows haven't started making milk because someone fed them pure grass rather than uh, hay that I thought I was. So, uh, no milk. So, what, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hours ago, I sent this guy down to the store to pick up some tools and I've finally got back to try and do something with them. Now, we'll drop off our really cool windrower. Hopefully drop off our tether correctly. I was going to bale this field, but I think I might just bring a forage wagon over and pick everything up. That's going to do it for this episode. We finally got the cows fed some hay so they should start to produce uh, a little bit of milk by next episode. I think I'm going to have to buy <laughs> a pressure sprayer or something because this tractor's really dirty. Uh, next episode we've got five fields that we need to harvest. So we'll try and get them harvested. Two of them I want to join up so I can make a bit bigger and plant sugar beet. And I'd like to buy the plot of land just below where they are on the lake farm. So that I can probably put some potatoes in. Uh, I need potatoes to make pig food. So I'll put a pig food production plant in as well as a cow TMR plant. But that's for next month to worry about. Hope you enjoyed the episode and I will catch you all in the next one. Welcome back everyone. It looks like we've reached the end of another episode. I hope you enjoyed the show. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and feel free to leave a comment if I've done something or you think I should try or do something else. I hope to see you all again in the next episode. Back in my box.